Okay, now we got it. Hey, shalom, Israel. Most time, Christ bless. My name is AYB, Isaac Ukebo Ben Israel. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, and this is uh, Little Sanctuary Israelites. We're going to come to you with the uh, the uh, uh, idea that uh, all Israel shall be saved. And our, our brother Elisha, Elisha gonna, Ben Israel, Elisha Ben Israel is going to come with that for us. Go ahead, brother. Okay. Uh, good evening, brothers and sisters online. Um, we are here to bring to bring you the truth. Because, as already said, the truth shall let you free. That's right. Okay? But the truth of the Most High God, not the truth of the world. But first, we're going to go through some scriptures because I don't want people to know that I'm talking of my own mind. Okay? Because the Bible let us know how to, to study it and that we have to study to show ourselves a proof. So that's exactly what we are doing here. Showing you that all Israel will be saved. Okay? And when I say all Israel, I mean all Israel. Because, um, let's go uh, for example. We're going to put an example. If you are a, are a daddy or a father of 10, 15, 2, 3, three kids, and you grow them up in a way, bring them up bringing them up in a um, in a lawful way okay and after they um, grown they go off okay the first thing you can do because you didn't grow them up to be a thief you didn't grow them to be a whoremonger you didn't grow them up to be a sodomite you didn't grow them up to be a whore you didn't grow them up to be nothing that is evil but once they grow and they gone asunder, they become what they want to become. So the same thing is this. You going to be vexed with them, and guess what? You going to disown them. And once you disown them, the first thing you going to say, no, you are not my child. Okay, you are not my child. So you disown him, and whenever he come back to uh, doing what you tell him to do, then you will say, he is my child. That's the same thing the Most High God do with us. He gave us statute, law, and commandment. We went off in all these filthy things. We transgressed his law. So when we, when we went off, guess what? We become enemy of the Most High God. He put us apart. He set us apart. He sent us into captivity. He sent us into slavery. And now, thanks to the Most High God, He bring us back into the truth. So this is done by Him, not by us. Okay? So we're going to start with a few um, um, precepts here to let you know what the Most High God have for us and how He tell us we must study and the... Um, the understanding that he give us to us his scripture. There's a few things here that I go, if you don't know, I will um, do my best to break it down for you. Okay? So, brother, let's start up with um, Isaiah 28 and 10. Book of Isaiah, chapter 28, verse 10. <clears throat> for precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line line upon line here a little and there a little okay um, as we all those that been studying the bible they already know what is the meaning of this okay to study the bible we have to go precept upon precept which precept mean commandment law line upon line here a little and there a little to give the understanding of the bible you cannot read the Bible as a novel or as a simple book. The Bible is not a simple book. Okay? So you got to go here a little, there a little. So finding on a precept a little bit here and a little bit there, you will give understanding to the Bible. Okay? If you take the Bible and you can read it as a 
normal book, you will never know the truth. Because you will start read one precept, say something, and another precept go into something else. And that is what confound you. And the Most High uh, wrote it that way. He gave it that way to confound people because the only, the only people or the only nation can know about the Bible is the nation of Israel and nobody else because the oracle was given to, to us, not to the other nation. Okay? So you got to go precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. That's how you get the understanding of the Bible. Because a lot of people will say, oh, but you jump in from one, from one precept to the other. That's how the most high God said we must what? We must study the Bible. Okay, my brother. Let's go to Second Timothy two fifteen. The book of Second Timothy, chapter two, verse fifteen. Study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay, that's exactly what we are doing. Here in this little sanctuary, my brethren and I, that's exactly what we're doing. Studying and showing ourselves approved. Dividing the word. Because if you don't study, you will never get the truth of this. And you have to study and keep the commandments. Because if you don't keep the commandments, the Most High God do not go and deal with you. So that's exactly what we are doing. We study to show ourselves approved unto who? Unto the Most High God and unto the world that unto our Israelite people. Because if you don't do that, well, those that are seeing this, they will know. He, he ain't studying. He's just talking off his own, off his own mind. But all those that that know the scripture, they know where you're coming from. Okay, um, let's go to Second Peter chapter one, verse twenty and twenty-one. Second Peter chapter one, verse twenty and twenty-one. Knowing this, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Okay. The, the scripture didn't come by the what? By the Holy Ghost. No. They didn't um, come by the will of man. didn't come by the will of man. But holy man of the Most High God. What are the holy man? All those prophets that the Bible talk about. Those prophets is who wrote the Bible that we have today, that we have to study today. Given by who? Given that by the most high God to his um to to Christ and Christ give it to the um to the angel and the angel give it to to the prophet. Now an example of this is um Revelation chapter one verse one. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Which God gave unto him. The most high God, the Father, the most high God of the word, give it to Christ. Go ahead. To shew unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Okay, to show unto his servant. Who are the servant? The servant is the angels and us. Go ahead. And he sent it, and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Okay, by his angel to his servant John. So John is the one that wrote Revelation. Okay, so the Most High have an other. Okay, he gave it to Christ. Christ gave it to the angel, and the angel to his prophet. That's how um, uh, the Bible was come in process. Okay, so this wasn't by no by no man. This was by the Most High God. Okay, 
Let's go to Isaiah chapter 41, verse 21. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 21. Produce your cause, saith the Lord. Bring forth your strong reasons, saith the King of Jacob. So that's exactly what we are doing right now, my brother. We are producing our cause, bringing out our strong reason, showing you that all Israel will be saved. And the Most High God have His way to save His people. And that is all over the Bible. That is all over, both in the Old Testament and the New Testament. No daddy, no father wants to see the children burned. So the Most High God have a way to save His children. His kids, his nation, the nation that he chose to be his holy people. Okay? So, those that out there and do not understand the Bible and say that Israel going going to be burned, how can you have a son? Put, put, yourself, uh, put yourself in it. If you have a son, and your son is evil. Would you kill him? Or you would you burn him? No. You are you going look the way to save him. That's exactly what the Most High God did. He looked the way to save us. And further, further on, I'm going to I'm going to show you that. Okay? Isaiah forty one twenty. Isaiah chapter forty one verse twenty. That they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord hath done this, and the Holy One of Israel has created it. So, so this what we are doing is not by us. It is by the, most, by the Most High God. He has done this. He has created this. He, he brings us back into the truth. He gives us understanding of His what? Of his law, statute, and commandment. So we are here by his will, not by our. Because we are his servant. Okay? So we are doing what he commands us to do. Okay? Okay. And brothers, uh, I, brothers that watching this, I have something for you. Um, all those that have that the Most High God open their mind to certain things. Do not be scared to let people know that the Most High God dealing with you too. Because there's a lot of people out there that believe that the Most High God only talk to them. As long as you are doing His statute, law, and commandment, He deal with you. And if you ask for um, for understanding, as how he says in um, um, James chapter 1 verse 5, he will give you the understanding. And once he give you it, let it be known by everybody. Because he give it to us that we will teach one another. You will learn from me. I will learn from you. I will learn from my brother here. He will learn from me. So as how he say, iron sharp iron. So do not be fear to bring out the truth. Not because someone else do not understand. You are you going to be fear to bring it out. No, don't do that. Because the Most High God give it to you for a reason. And that reason is to show us because something will be given to me, something will be given to my um, to my brethren next to me here, something will be given to you. And guess what? We have, it, we have to um, make it known to all Israel. Okay? And I will show you that too. That the Most High God will deal with all those that keep His commandments. And He gives us different, different spirit. Different discernment. Okay? Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Verse 4, no. Verse 4. Now, 
there are diversities